Here's my list for the top 5 scumbag YouTube channels and personalities. Number 1. Nicole Arbor Dear Fat People was a video uploaded by Nicole Arbor early September 2015. In this video, Nicole proceeds to undermine those considered overweight by making crude and disgusting comments, using rude metaphors, and discounting fat shaming as a fantasy made up by larger individuals as she continues to actually fat shame. This video was responded to by thousands of YouTubers, most notably uh, Bogey2988. Bogey said that Nicole had a lot of good points in her video and that he understands the kind of humor, if you can call it that, uh, that she was using. However, uh, Bogey disagreed with how Nicole encouraged others to insult those who are overweight, saying, fat shaming does exactly what you'd expect. Nicole Arbor is no stranger to controversy, as Dear Fat People is one of her many edgy videos, others notably being Why is Abortion Wrong, Dear Black People, Dear Sluts, Dear Refugees, and Dear Black People Too. While Nicole's humor is very distasteful to many, her controversy follows her into her personal life. Nicole is known to be the ex-girlfriend of a popular fact-slash-blog YouTuber named Matthew Santoro. While it has been known that Nicole tried to frame Matthew for abusing her in their previous relationship, Matthew claims it was the other way around. Matthew stated this in his recent blog video that he was locked into an abusive relationship for a whole year with an individual, Nicole, who forced Matthew to drive his family and his friends away physically and mentally abused him and was unimaginably jealous of for his attention. Scumbag of the Decade Award nominee right here. To get riggedy riggedy rag Number 2. Sam Pepper. Killing best friend prank. Many people enjoy watching prank videos, myself included. Back before I ever watched YouTube, I would come home from school and watch Prank Patrol among other cartoons. It was always interesting to watch the show, how elaborate pranks were set up, or how skillful the situational real or fake acting was. However, most of these pranks were just fun harmless, causing a bit of, or a little bit of fear, before eventually being called off, and laughed off as a joke. I always kept in the back of my mind that all prank really was, was a practical joke, not a social experiment, a joke, where the pranked and the pranky could laugh it off. Sam Pepper seems to not understand what a joke is, or at least he has a very twisted sense of humor. Shots fired! Shots fired! A few weeks after the recent Paris Terrace attacks, Sam released a prank video titled Killing a Best Friend Prank, in which he abducts one of his friends and fakes a hostage situation in which a person is executed. Whether he had terrorist implications or not, whether the prank is fake or not, the video certainly doesn't seem like a joke, and to many, isn't very funny. Number 3. Line Maker While Line Maker may seem innocent enough with his, at first glance, harmless Minecraft videos and somewhat likable personality, hidden behind his likable demeanor is a monster. Several rumors and questions were raised about claims of his interest in young teens and children. Admitting it himself, Line Maker was in a relationship with an underage girl, whom he was in Skype contact with. After a Twitter argument with drama alert Keemstar, Linemaker decided he wanted to prove an ultimate point, releasing nude images of his young girlfriend warranting himself for child pornography. Popular YouTuber Leafy's here shared many of his opinions on Linemaker, basically summarizing a majority opinion. Today I'm going to be talking about Linemaker, the scumbag douchebag pedophile that makes Minecraft videos for kids. Number 4. Rice Man. School shooting prank gone wrong. Rice Man himself is a prankster much like Sam Pepper, and his content is very similar. His works include alleged social experiments, while many of his videos are slightly immoral. One prank done by Rice Man rises above the others. In this video, Rice Man walks around a university or college campus with a camera, asking students where a good place to shoot people would be. In other clips, Reisman walks up behind people yelling, 
I'm going to shoot you. So ka. Number five, the under network. Total Biscuit gets cancer and totally deserves it. The Under Network uploaded a video on January 12th, 2016. In the video, the Under Network tries to justify his reasoning behind why the popular reviewer Total Biscuit deserves cancer, stating that because he's a critic, and like all critics, they're all parasites. The reason why this guy is not only idiotic, but a major scumbag is pretty self-explanatory.